my name is Bethany Brill. I'm an artist and creative director, and welcome to my house. Inside, you're gonna see warm minimalism, lots of color, some art that I did, and also lots of plywood. This house was built in 1980. They loved light and height, and that was definitely one of my inspos, is like 1980s New York loft. We got our little record set up. My kids love music. They dance a lot on top of this marble table that we have. The pastels for me, I'm actually going away from that. This is <laughs> what's left over. I have rounded edges for the more angular room. It's a nice contrast. One of my things is that I'm constantly moving furniture. So one thing I love about the couches is they're always modular. So I can like change it up when I need a little endorphin rush. <laughs> I love these four by four tiles and I really love tiling like every surface in this house. So I did say there was gonna be a lot of plywood and this is a great example of it. Between the cement floors and the white walls and the white tile, we really had to warm up the space. And that's one of the main reasons I use plywood. It adds a lot of visual interest without feeling overwhelming and it's a neutral. Each space, I have the same formula, it seems like. When I walk away from it, it's some kind of like metal, layers of color, and then some cute little interesting objects. This cool toned green is one of my favorite colors, that little like drop of blue in there. And then I love a bright red, but somehow it doesn't feel Christmassy. Most of the time we have like windows and doors open and we have a little bar area through the kitchen window that I'm handing food out to people at the table. Just very California atmosphere. I did this really playful three lights in a row and it draws your eye to the yellow cabinets. Our whole kitchen is built from Ikea bases and then we did custom fronts on everything. So we tried to do as much custom as possible on a budget to make everything feel built in. So our whole MO is to make a really visually creative and stimulating place to live for our family, for our kids. In speaking of my kids, we could go see their room upstairs. So for our kids' room, they all share a room. We have three little girls and I love the color. This rug is actually like a waxed canvas, which I picked the Pantones based on like our couch downstairs. Just, you know, you gotta keep the vibe flowing. And we did custom bookshelf and closets in here. We have their little three beds in a row. For the beds, we kept everything floating so that nothing feels stuffy or clogged up. It also helps us clean underneath. And then, yeah, they have floating little side tables as well. I love the juxtaposition of the soft, cozy beds to the more industrial metal side tables. Before we go in my room, I'll just show you that we did all these little custom plywood jams and for me, it's all about the details. Come on in. When I was designing this room, I feel like I had in mind a place of respite, but also creativity. I do a lot of my work here because there's not a lot of extra rooms in this house. This desk is actually a dining table. I wanted something that I could really spread out. And a lot of times I have like a bunch of notebooks, a bunch of calendars out at the same time. And then it just kind of tucks nicely into the corner. I sit right here and I do my thing. And just like the kitchen downstairs, we always have our windows open and I'm always yelling to somebody downstairs outside. We should check that out next. To finish off the tour, this is my interpretation of a backyard where it's kind of inside, still manicured, still minimal. I love the idea of my kids hopping from stone to stone out here or sitting on this log instead of a bench. For me, choosing the plants that were really graphic and playful, like this Dr. Seuss tree, made it feel natural but still me. And this wraps up my home tour. Thank you for stopping by. Well, that was so much fun, but the fun doesn't have to end here. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for the best open house has to offer.